Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the intriguing life of one of history's most enigmatic figures, Grigory Rasputin. From his humble beginnings to his mysterious death, Rasputin's life is a fascinating tale of mysticism, politics, and scandal. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our historical explorations. Now, let's uncover the mysteries of Rasputin's life. Grigory Rasputin was born in Siberia in 1869. He was peasant who underwent a religious conversion as a teenager and later became a wandering holy man and a self-proclaimed mystic and healer. His religious fervor, combined with his personal charisma, brought him to the attention of some of the Russian Orthodoxy and senior members of the imperial family, who introduced Rasputin to Tsar Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra in 1906. By 1908, he had won favor with the Tsar and Tsarina through his ability to stop the bleeding of their son Alexei, who suffered from hemophilia. Despite being widely condemned by the public as a charlatan for his drunkenness and debauchery, Rasputin wielded great power and influence over the ruling family, particularly with the Tsarina, who was convinced of his mystical healing abilities and rumors swirled that the two were lovers. When Nicholas left to lead Russian forces during WWI, Rasputin effectually ruled the country through Alexandra, which only added to the perceived corruption and chaos of the Romanov regime. As the war continued, outlandish stories about the monk expanded to include a treasonous plot with Germany, an effort to start a cholera epidemic in St. Petersburg with poisoned apples, and lurid tales about Rasputin and the Khazar's young daughters. Many within the Russian nobility and the church orthodoxy became fearful of Rasputin's growing power and control, and there was a demand to have him removed by any means necessary. In an effort to rid the court and the country of Rasputin's influence, a group of nobles, led by Prince Felix Yusupov, the richest man in Russia and the husband of the Tsar's only niece, and Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich, the Tsar's first cousin, plotted the monk's demise. On the night of December 29, 1916, Yusupov and Pavlovich lured Rasputin to Moika Palace in St. Petersburg. The would-be killers first gave the monk food and wine laced with cyanide. However, when Rasputin seemingly failed to respond to the poison, they shot him at close range and left him for dead. In spite of these murderous measures, Rasputin revived shortly thereafter and made an attempt to flee the palace grounds, only to be intercepted by his assailants who shot him again and viciously beat him. They then bound Rasputin, who was remarkably still alive, and threw him into the freezing Neva River. His battered body was found several days later, and it was reported that there was water in his lungs, indicating that he finally died by drowning. Yusupov wrote the most well-known account of Rasputin's murder in his memoir, originally published in 1928. He wrote, This devil who was dying of poison, who had a bullet in his heart, must have been raised from the dead by the powers of evil. There was something appalling and monstrous in his diabolical refusal to die. Before the murder, Yusupov had lived a relatively frivolous life of privilege. Plotting Rasputin's death had given him the opportunity to reinvent himself as a patriot, determined to protect the throne and restore the reputation of the monarchy. Yusupov and his co-conspirators hoped the removal of Rasputin would make Nicholas II more open to the advice of the nobility and the Duma, giving him a final chance to save the monarchy. However, the monk's murder did not lead to any radical changes of the Tsar and Tsarina's politics leading up to the start of the Russian Revolution in March 1917. To the Bolsheviks, Rasputin symbolized the corruption at the heart of imperial rule, and they viewed his murder as an attempt by the nobility to stay in power at the expense of the proletariat. Despite his controversial life, Rasputin left an indelible mark on Russian history. His story has inspired countless tales, books, and even songs. We'll explore Rasputin's legacy and the enduring fascination with this mystic figure. And there you have it, the incredible and mysterious life of Grigory Rasputin. 
If you enjoyed this journey through history, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more historical explorations. And until next time, thanks for joining us on Interesting History.